السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأبدة من لساني يبقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم إني أسألك علما نافيا ورزقا طيبا وأملا متقبلا آمين رب العالمين So here we are with our session number 149 and I'm going to start our session with a quick review inshallah So bismillah Rahman Rahim, I hope you are all ready and excited for the review, inshallah. Okay, let's see what I have for you today. So I have a dua for, in front of you, one of the Masnoon duas, and you are going to tell me the ashkal of Yaul Mutakallim, the form that uh, you are seeing Yaul Mutakallim in, in this very uh, dua, okay? So um, the first word um, we, we are going to skip, so in me, so how is the uh, uh, is it? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Saima, we are not able to see your screen. You are not? Oh, so sorry. We are not. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. Wait one second. Let me see. Uh, no share. Okay. Can you see it now, my dear sisters? Alhamdulillah, you can uh, let me open a chat. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So, Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afiyya fi dunya wal akhira. So, the number one, you know, ya mutakalim that you are seeing here is how? When we were learning about the ashkal, we were seeing that it can be with a sukoon, it can be with a... Uh, no, th that name is um, not... Um, this name has nothing to do with ya al-mutakalim. That is ya, that is a replacement for harf nida ya, right? Ya mutakallim is a pronoun, that is a harf, right? So I'm talking about ya mutakallim, which is your first person singular pronoun. And when you see ismu, uh, ismu inna, very well done, you are seeing it with a sukoon, right? When you go to the shape, ash, ashkal or the forms, you are going to tell me either is it with fatha or a sukoon, or there is a hasf of ya, or there is um ya replaced by alif munqaliba, or there is a hasf of uh, alif munqaliba, or there is a tal mubadala. Okay, one of those um it should be the answer. Okay, is this clear to each and every one of you? Now that you are you know reminded of the types of um uh, ashkal of yal mutakallim that you see uh, in Quran, I hope that that will uh, you know. Um, make it easy for you to answer. Okay, so the first one is with the sukoon. Then we see another one again with inni. So we are going to skip that one. Then we see another one in dini the same way, right? It is with the sukoon. What about um, a word dunya ya? Is there any ya um, al mutakallim here? Do you see any ya al mutakallim? Yes, you are seeing it with fatha. Uh, anyone remembers why is it just with fatha? I'm not going to test you on this, but if someone remembers, very, 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 very well done because there is an alif, it's a maksur, there is an alif before it. When ya is attached to a word that is it's a maksur, it has a fatha on it. Okay, very, 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 very well done because it's very important that you remember whatever um, you learned. Alhamdulillah. Okay, now. You are seeing um, Mali, um, Aurati, Rawati, Ahfazni, Baini Yadaya. This one, all them, all of them were with the Sukun, right? The the ones before were with the Sukun, right? What happened to this one? This is Musanna. Is it with the sukoon or with the fatha? Is it maftuha or is it with the sukoon? It is with a fatha. Remember, we learned it in our last session. Whenever your yal mutakalim is going to attach itself to a dual, to a dual or to um, a dual uh, or plural nasbujar, it is going to be maftuha. Is this clear to all of you? And the word is, you know, uh, with the um, shadda. You are going to see a shadda as well, okay? So when Yal Mutakalim is going to attach itself to a Nasbur dual, or it's going to attach itself to a Nasbur plural, 
and also in case of Raf as well, as we covered that as well, that how Wout gets changed into Ya and the Ya, the final Ya gets a Fatha. Are you all with me? The purpose of showing you this and reviewing this with you is you are going to, my dear sisters, see those examples in Quran. There is no way that you can escape this. This is going to be in Quran and you must identify the correct number of words in Quran. Yeah, right? Is it important to understand Quran as it is revealed to our Prophet wasallam, and to have the correct understanding of what is being talked about? Who is being talked about? What is the word attached to? Right? It is very important. So that is why I, you know, I wanted to show you these so that nobody misses anything here. Okay. So then comes your uh, Khalfi, Yamini, Shimali, Fauqi, all these four words. Are they one word or they are two words? Because I don't want to spend time repeating the same thing. So there are two words and every, every, Example has ya with the sukun. It must be clear. And that last one, tahti, also has ya al that is with the sukun. When you noticed, when you notice ya al with a fail here, ich fazni, what did you notice? How was it different from all the ya's before? Did you notice any change? Um, any addition? Nunul Vakaya. Very well done. Very well done. There was a Nunul Vakaya that was there whenever you see Yaul Mutakalim attaching itself to a fail. Very well done. Small things, but must must be paid attention to. Okay. Cannot be um skipped or you know, cannot be any you have to make sure that you know them. So then now the last one that I have for you is from Surat Al Furqan. What is the form of Yamutakalim? What are the two forms of Yamutakalim that you're seeing here? How many Yamutakalims are? Let me ask you this. Are in Suratul Furqan, verse number 28. One or two? There are two. Very well done. There are two, and I agree with my dear sisters. So one is with Munada, Vailata, and here it is Aliful. Munqaliba, right? Uh, it is changed into Aliful Munqaliba. And the other one is with Leita, right? And with Leita, is it just how it is seen with all the other haruf uh, or other words before, or there is something there? Yes, I meant to ask you that is there any Nunul Vakaya there or not? And yes, there is a Nunul Vakaya when it is used with Harf Nasb later. Everyone, is it clear to all of you how you're going to come across Yal Mutakalim? If you just learn this table by heart, um, this one, the first one, and know the types, I assure you, when you see a word translated in a certain way, it's not going to be hard for you to understand it. If you know that Yamutakalim can take these ashkal, things are going to be very, very easy. Okay? My dear sisters, please make sure you go over this. Okay? This is going to make a difference in understanding of your Quran, inshallah. Now, Yamutakalim attaches itself to Haruf, and we know that, right? So when we see inna anna ka anna lakinna and yal mutakallim, the addition of noon is jayas. When I say, when I say jayas, what does it mean? Jayas, when, whenever there is a rule that is permissible or jayas, remember, noonul vakaya may be there, it may not be there. Right? It is allowed, it is permissible, but it may be there or it may not be there. Okay? When I say wajib, certain rule is wajib, that means there is no there is no other thing around it. You have to do it. It is the, 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 the rule is there are no exception to the rule. Okay. There is no exception to the rule. Whenever I put in my slides wajib, you must know there is no exception to the rule. Very rarely you may see something 
but you know mostly in 99.9 percent .9 of cases this is how it's going to be but if it is jayas remember remember it's going to be you know they, they may it may be there it may not be there so whenever you are going to see yaul mutakallim with inna anna ka anna lakinna presence of nunul waqaya is jayas which means Sometimes you can see innani, and sometimes you can also see inni. Sometimes you are going to see innani, and sometimes you may see an, anni, right? So, so, so on and so forth. When it comes to la Allah, which is also one of the huruf in asiba, there is no nunul waqaya. Okay? There is no nunul waqaya. Do you ever see nunul waqaya with la Allah? Do, do we ever say la Allah ni? Never. You only see la alli, and it is very important because the surah that you are going to embark on this coming Wednesday will have this la alla, and there may be a mutakalim there, there may not be. Who knows? And if you are a student who is very focused and very excited about starting a new surah, you will definitely go back and and look at the surah and start putting arab on the surah so that you are on top of your game. So. You you will notice in when Harf Nas La Allah comes in Quran and Ya is attached to it, there is no Nunul Waqaya. Okay. When it is Laita and Ya Mutakalim, it is Wajib. It is Wajib to add Nunul Waqaya. It is Wajib. So what does it mean? When you see Laita plus Ya, it is always going to be Laita Ni. So it has to be there as you are going to, as you're seeing here in Surah Al-Furqan, verse number 28, Laita Ni, right? Is this clear? If it is clear, my dear sisters, type one. And yes, it you may know, uh, want to memorize it by heart, you may not, but I want you to have an idea. When you are going to see this noon, and sometimes what happens is, that people who are at the beginning stages, they are making mistakes in identifying their words. And the mistake happens just because they don't know certain thing because, you know, they know, don't know the exceptions to the rules and, you know, it's few, you know, there's still, you know, things that need to be worked on. Okay. So just to make your job easy, I am just introducing you to all this in a form of a table, in form of slides, so that, you know, when we are doing it together, Words of Quran are super duper easy and you make a dua for me, <laughs> inshallah. Okay, so when you see, yes, Barakallahu Sir Azura. So when you see Harf Jar Min and An, Min and An and Ya Mutakallim. Now comes Min and An and Ya Mutakallim. So again, Nunul Waqaya is going to be Wajib, right? You will see and ni, min ni, right? Why min has one noon and now what, what? where is the second noon coming from? The second noon, my dear sisters, is your nunul waqaya. And now from today onward, you are going to say that, you know, it is wajib for nunul waqaya to be there when there's harjar min and leita. It is jayas for her nunul waqaya to be there when ya attaches itself to Inna, anna, ka anna, lakinna. It is not permissible for Nunul Waqaya to attach itself to La Allah. Easy? Listen to me again. Harjar min an laita wajib for Nunul Waqaya to be there. Wajib for Nunul Waqaya to be there. Inna, anna, ka anna, lakinna. It is jayas for Nunul Waqaya to be there. And with La Allah, not permissible for Nunul Waqaya to be there. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So now let's move on. So what are we going to learn today? That was Yaul Mutakallim. And we we will go back to learn a few more concepts about Yaul Mutakallim. But for now, I think that much information is enough. I want you to be very well versed with whatever I have taught you so far about Yaul Mutakallim, about this Ashkal, which is very, very important because many mistakes my myself was unaware of so many concepts that you know 
I would make mistakes because, you know, there was no way for me to learn this because it was not in any book that I can easily go to, refer to and get my information from. Okay. I hope this table will make some, uh, you know, uh, overall, everyone will benefit from this table. Okay. Inshallah. So today you are going to learn about the Mirul Fasad. So you may have learned about it briefly before that this is a referee pronoun. Some of them know it as a re referee pronoun. But today, I'm going to tell you when you see any pronoun that is munfasin, that is independent, and you are seeing it between khabar and muqtada, between inna wa akhwatuha and uh, ismu inna wa akhwatuha and khabru inna wa akhwatuha, or kana wa akhwatuha and its khabar, zanna wa akhwatuha and its maf'ooz, you are going to think about the mirul fasal. Okay? So again, if I ask you, ula'ika humul muflihun, ula'ika humul muflihun, this damir munfasil, this munfasil means independent pronoun. But what can be another name for this Damir Munfasil? It is going to be called Damirul Fasal. Inna waha huwa al hamid. Here, huwa, which is an independent pronoun, Damir Munfasil, but has another name, which is called Damirul Fasal. If Ulaika was not there, if Inna waha was not there, can you call whom or huwa Damirul Fasal? or a referee pronoun, in that case, you will not call it the Mirul Fasal, my dear sisters. Remember that, okay? It's just going to be your independent pronoun, which is the Mir Munfasil. The Mirul Fasal is present, is going to be between Muqtada and the Qabar. You already have a Muqtada, and then you see a pronoun. You already have a subject, you see a pronoun. You already have a subject, and you see a pronoun. You already have some, you know, your um, mafail and you are seeing a pronoun incorporated between two maf'ools, you start to think about the mirul fasal. If it is humul muflihun, kindly don't go there. Just call hum the mir munfasil, mabni ala sakun, fi mahali rafa, muqtada, and al muflihuna khabar. Is this clear? I hope I made myself very clear in this case. So, number one, muwade. Muwade means the places of the mirul fasil. Where are you going to see your the mirul fasil? Number one is what is the mirul fasil? It. We. I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to. Though it should be the number one thing that I should be telling you, but I will tell you about it later. First of all. Try to figure out the location of your Damirul Fasal, the places where you find Damirul Fasal. Type one if everyone has understood what I have written on the on this on the slide before. The last one could be tricky. Last one could be tricky, but still I want you to understand it. Okay. So when you have a muqtada and a khabar, you are labeling a sentence, you already had your muqtada, you have a clear khabar, and you are seeing another pronoun coming in between. You are going to call it the Mirul Fasal, right? If you have your one of those of al that take that you that usually take two mafuls and you see a pronoun and that does not go anywhere, like you know that does not make sense. What are you going to think about? You are going to think about the Mirul Fasal. Here I put one of the of fail which takes two pronouns, which is zanna. There are others as well. Okay, Zanna and its sisters can have the Mirul Fasal between their two Mafa'i. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, sister um, uh, Arham. Yes, it can be. Yes, well, it can be one of the reasons. Yeah, it can be. You know, you are saying that those they are the ones. Yes. Okay. So now come back to where we were. And inshallah, let's just figure out everything now. Okay. So 
now comes how am I going to label the first verse of Surah Al-Baqarah? Okay, just stay very calm and just you know don't get ahead of yourself. We are going to understand it, and inshallah, we'll get the real concept. You know how the right concept of it. Okay, so if I give you this verse and I ask you, my dear sisters, give me the Arab for this verse. What are you going to label Ula'ika? Muktada. When you have a Muktada, you look for a Khabar. What kind of a Khabar do you have for this Muktada? Okay. So, Sister Zora is saying, Jumla Ismiya and Sister Faiza is saying, Jumla uh, Mufridism. Sister Zora and Sister F uh, uh, Faiza, you both are right. Sister Faiza, give me your Mufridism, which is a Mufridism that you are going to call your uh, Khabar as. Al Muflihuna. And Sister Shamim is with Sister Faiza. And Sister Azra is, um, is uh, partnering with uh, Sister Zohra in her answers. And I I am going to say, if you give me these Arab, I'm going to give you, bo both parties are going to get, give, uh, get the full marks. No one should be able to deduct any marks from you. However, since you are going towards, you know, you have been uh, polished towards, um, you know, the purpose here is to learn different ways of putting Arab and different, uh, to, uh, the purpose here is to understand how there can be a difference in opinion between the two groups of scholars of Nahu. I want you to know both will be the right answers. Both are right answers. If someone says, that ulaika is muftada, humul muflihuna is khabar, hum muftada and al muflihuna khabar, that is right. If Sister Faiza and Sister Shamim say that ulaika is muftada, hum damirul fasal li taqeed, hmm? damirul fasal li taqeed, la mahalla laha min al arab, al muflihuna is the khabar, that is also right. Is this clear to each and every one of you? I want everyone to answer and everyone to have this in your notes because it is not in my notes how to put the Arab on. So my dear sisters, please put in, it in your notes. I don't want you to understand and have a wrong understanding of anything, okay? Next verse from Surah al verse number 26. Good Al, it can look like a jumla. Um, Yes, both schools of thoughts are going to be okay. They, I'm going to accept both of them. But if you come across, if someone is saying, the whole Jumla is me, I see Mahali Rafin, Khabar for Ulaika, I'm going to accept that because both of both of um, uh, both are the ways that how scholars are doing it okay is this clear sister zora or um, did i answer your question or did i um, make you more confused about anything we good we good okay alhamdulillah so both of you, both are right so there is and both should be in your notes now because everything may not be on the slide that is why I like you to have your pens and papers with you. And ulaika humul muflihun, ulaika muptada, hum damirul fasal lam halalaha min al arab al muflihuna qabar. One way of putting the arab, and the second way is ulaika muptada humul muflihun, jumla ismiya qabar, hum muptada al muflihuna qabar for hum, not ulaika. The whole jumla is the qabar for ulaika. Ulaika, okay? Now comes in the lahul ghaniyul hamid, the same way. You are going to say Allah, ismu inna, right? Ismu inna. And if Sister Faiza and Sister Shamim, according to Sister Faiza and Sister Shamim, I'm going to do it first. Inna laha, inna wa ismu inna, huwa damirul fasal la mahalla laha min al arab. Al ghaniyun khabru inna, al hamidun badal. Or khabar number two, right? I can do it. And that's going to be right. However, if I come back and if I do it according to Sister Zohra and Sister Azra, Inna Laha Lafzul Jalala Ismu Inna Hu Al Ghaniyul Hamidu Hu Al Ghaniyul Hamidu Jumla Ismiya Khabru Inna Fi Mahalli Rafin Huwa Muptada Al Ghani Khabar One Al Hamid Khabar Two. 
all with me all with me alhamdulillah i want you know that things are easy so far we are getting it if you are not getting it my dear sisters this is your time when you have a test and when you are doing a big sura that's not you know that's a time when you learn more okay inshallah now let's look at the verse from surah ash-shura verse number 40 and i am telling you if you see if you see if you see kana wa akhwatuha and you see something between ismu kana and qabru kana there is a home between ismu kana and qabru kana there is home now what to do Look, so we'll start here in kanu humul ghalibin in kanu hum kanu humul ghalibin we'll focus here we'll forget about everything before okay kanu ismu kana what is ismu kana in this case sister faiza is tell me the ismu kana don't call it mubtada my dear sister wow ismu kana right ismu kana we are going to focus on ismu kana we we have learned it why should we not say it the way we we have been calling it so wawal jamaa is ismu kana and now i'm going to look for when i have ismu something the next step is khabru something and what is the khabar can i say humul ghalibina humul ghalibina is khabar hum is the khabar so some of you are saying humul ghalibina is the khabar no it cannot be now i have difference of opinion i don't agree with both schools of thought now i cannot there is no way i can say humul ghalibina can be jumla ismiya and it can be khabru khana the reason being hum if it is acting if it is amil if it is amil its khabar should be what in status what should be the khabar of hum it should be rough in status as sister faiza is saying i'm 100% agreeing to her and as sister azra sister sabira so how can we make humul ghalibina jumla ismiya can we make it jumla ismiya humul ghalibina just focusing on humul ghalibina we cannot make it jumla ismiya anymore and now only one way there is only one correct way of labeling this verse is that is you know you you agree with sister shamim and sister faiza's school of thought and you call hum as as dhamirul fasl la mahalla laha min al irab don't call it mubtada anymore now hum la mahalla laha min al irab and then you call al ghalibina khabru khana everyone with me i'm going to take a break water break and you can tell me if you have any questions tokid tokid the purpose here now the question is coming why are we if we are no, not doing anything with it in all these examples in all school of thoughts what is home who are home doing is it is bringing in emphasis my dear sisters in all these three cases when i was doing the first two verses from surah al baqara surah al luqman for sister faiza and sister shamim i said that it is the mere the mirul fasl lit tawqid and tawqid in arabic means what is the meaning of what is a tawqid in english emphasis right it is emphasis everyone now on the same page alhamdulillah so we are you know and we we are getting there and we are we have not finished the topic so inshallah we are not going to get ahead of ourselves we are going to learn slowly and surely and then we are going to you know say okay what is this what is the purpose of that and once i finish the topic if it, i have left anything i am open to all take all the questions okay so 31 minutes have passed and, and i was 1 minute late so now look here yara allazina utul ilm utul ilma allazi unzila ilayka mir rabbik huwa al haqq huwa does this huwa has any khabar in the verse huwa al haqq wa yahdi ila sirat al aziz al hamid there is no way this word can be labeled as mubtada now tell me is there any way my all my dear sisters please who are sleeping who are drinking their coffees and teas and you know, or having their evening teas or whatever but not please answer i want your answers <laughs> and i want your full focus in the class because 
pronouns are very important. <laughs> My question is this this hua, does it have any khabar? <laughs> it is so now is you know now in this case again can I call it rough in status? Can I call hua independent pronoun rough in status? No. I'm not going to call it rough in status. It, it is the mirul fasal la mahalla lahu min al era. You know, when I was teaching people uh, this huwa huma hum, so I would always think in my mind that how will I tell them that sometimes this all independent pronouns are rough in status and then they're going to be independent pronouns that I'm going to teach them. They're going to be nasmin status and then they're going to be independent pronouns that are la mahalla lahu min al era. So what will happen that day? They are going to you know, pull my hair. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> right? But that is how life is. And that is how Allah is. How big he is. He is Vasyon Al-Aleem. He, he brings you to places. He brings you to situations. He, he, he prepares you for something. He's, he was, you know, he was preparing you for this day today. That you were to be in the class with your, you know, there are people who have started in August and they're still with us despite you know us teaching so many difficult topics as well but you know they're still they're giving their best alhamdulillah so now you know that you will see independent pronouns and now there are tables that have been you know i have very interesting um something that is in making um um I, I will show you in in a little bit and there you know when you will be presented you know you have done it like you know the mir the, the mir munfasil can also be minal arab now after learning about the mirul fasil it's going to be you know easy for you to say when you have words from surah shura um verse number 40 it is easy for you to now say that this home is La mahalla laha min al-Arab. And but people will be, you know, again, there will be a question. So why, if it is la mahalla laha min al-Arab, why is it there? What is its name? If it is not muftada, how, how am I going to put label on it? So I'm, you are going to say, this is the, mir, the mirul fasal li tawkeed. For emphasis. Li tawkeed means for emphasis. Azra with me? Amin wa yakeed. So now, here, Yaral Lazina, the first, can somebody point out the first maf'ool for the fail? Yaral Lazina, Utul Ilma, Al Lazi Unzila Ilaik. Alizi Unzila Al Hakka is Mafool one. Or is it two? How can Hakka is Hakka? Hakka is two. Hakka is two. Determine the two mafail here. I want the two mafools determined to be determined. One second, I, my brain is uh, not working because I'm also, you know, uh, um, traveling. And so <laughs> let me just, you know, make sure that I, do, I, I don't, you know, tell, give you the wrong answer for this. Okay. So, and those who were given the knowledge, see. Allazi 
allazi that which hmm, it was sent to you from your rab hmm? allazi that which give, is given to you it is the truth so so first one is allazi yes or no for yara first one is allazi right And those who were given the knowledge think that which is sent down to you from your Rabb is the truth. Right? The first one is Al-Lazi. The second one is al haq Because the, my dear sisters here, you have to yara, you have to find two maf'uls for yara. Okay? It it must be found, okay? Because here it, the purpose of yara is, you know, it is not seeing, seeing. It is about, they assume that which has been sent down to you from your Rabb, they think, they are convinced that which is sent down upon you from your Rabb is the truth. So, the first one is, Allazi unzila ilayka mir rabbik, mir rabbik. And the second one is, al haq And this huwa. This huwa is the mirul fasal. Utu is majhul. Yes, absolutely it is majhul. So now, this the mirul fasal is going to be labeled as la mahalla laha min al arab It is, you know, it is how the it, 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 it is it, it is telling you the first uh, maf'ul is allati unzila ilayk and the second one is al-haq. And you will see it a few times in Quran. And people have, you know, uh, you know, a lot of questions about this one as well. That, you know, what is this Huwa doing here? There is no Khabar for Huwa. It is, you know, they translate it sometimes as it is the truth. So, but why is Al-Haqqa Nasbin status, not Rafin status? Because when you translate it, you may translate it as it is the truth. But translation and the Arab are different, right? So, Translation, it may does make sense, but here, who is the Mirul Fasal, it is not Muqtada, it is La Muhalalaha Min Al Era. Okay, the first Maf'ul is Al my dear sister, Al Lazi, those that were given knowledge. Yara, they assume, they are convinced. Yara is not like seeing. Sometimes seeing is thinking. Sometimes seeing is understanding. When you say, I see, what is the meaning of I see? Do you ever say, I see? It's a very, I got it. I understood it, right? So that is the meaning of Yara in this case. Yara is not for um, seeing, seeing. It is not for literal seeing. It is for understanding in this case. When yara is used for the purpose of understanding, it takes two maf'uls. It must take two maf'uls. The maf'ul, one, it may happen that one is may not be there, but it should take two maf'uls. Okay? Is it is, is this clear, my dear sisters? So, you, here, the purpose of you going through this exercise is we have not covered those of uh, all that take to mafail. We will, inshallah, co cover those uh, in our upcoming session. Um, so uh, sessions, not the upcoming sessions uh, on Wednesday, but very soon we will be covering that concept, inshallah. But the purpose is you, they take to maf'uls and you will see between maf'ul, awwal and sani, you have a pronoun, okay? You have a pronoun and that pronoun is going to be the mirul fasal because that are the places that is one of the place where you find your the mirul fasal so again you find your the mirul fasal between mubtada and khabar between ismu inna and khabru inna between ismu kana and khabru kana and the fourth condition for its placement is it can be seen between zanna wa akhwatuha it, it, it is seen after Zanna wa Akhwatuha, and Yara is one of the sisters of Zanna. And it is seen between the two Maful Bihis of the, Zanna wa Akhwatuha. So we found the first one was Al Lazi, the second one was Al Haqqa, and the Hua is right between them. Because Al Lazi always is followed by what? 
Al-Aziz is a mausul. It is always followed by Silatul Mausul. And Silatul Mausul in this case is Unzila Ilayka Me Rabbik. Right? It is a sila. So it is considered one whole thing. It cannot be separated. It's going to go in the same bucket as Al-Lazi. It's sila follows along. But between Al-Lazi and Al-Haq, you have Hua, which is the Mirul Fasal, La Mahala Laha Min al Are you with me now? Is this clear to each and every one of you? Okay. So now, um, sometimes you are going to see the Mirul Fasal. You know, sometimes you may not see, as I just mentioned, that you will see those of all that take two mafuls, and you will not see the first maful mentioned there. For example, here, وَلَا يَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ يَبْخَلُونَ بِمَا آتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ هُوَ خَيْرًا هُوَ خَيْرًا Here, there is nothing, there is no first maful bihi mentioned. So, it is actually taking the place of that maful bihi. So, but again, you it, it is taking the place of that maful bihi, but um, basically there was bukhlan there that was omitted because you always, you know, if yaksab, you know, has, um, this yaksabanna um, is acting as uh, from the af afal that take two mafail, there must be two maful after it. And if you don't see maful after it, and there is only the mirul fasal and one maful, then you must consider that that hua is taking the place of is it is you know it is going to suffice for it. Okay. Sometimes you see the mirul fasal after inna. Do you see it? As you can see on my slide, inna darul akhirata. Lahiyal Hayawan. Can you see the Mirul Fasal there? There is Ismu Inna, which is Adar al Akhira, right? Adar al Akhirata. Adar was the Ismu Inna, Al Akhirata was the Sifa. And then Al Hayawan is the Khabru Inna, right? And then you are seeing the Mirul Fasal here with the Lamul Muzahlaka. And it has Lamul Muzahlaka attached. Okay, so you must know that sometimes the mirul fasal can have lamul muzahlaka, and that is going to happen in the case when you have inna setting a jumla ismiya. Yes, lamul muzahlaka is on the, the mirul fasal. Hmm. Is this clear so far? So sometimes in you know not um, many examples will be found in Quran, but in uh, Hadith literature we do find an example where this the middle fasal is making um, is used as muktada, and we did you know we have we have covered we have accepted that possibility when we were doing the first three examples, right? You all understood that the first three examples we have covered them. The first two examples, my apologies. The first two examples, we have covered them with a the possibility that we we are allowed to call whom and hua as muqtada and al ghani and al muflihuna as the khabar for that muqtada, right? You all understand that? Okay. So now you are going to see the halat, and you are seeing, you know, the the. That was the first thing that you see that, you know, there, there, there are the conditions. And the same thing is going to be repeated in this slide. This is just, you know, the um, uh, repetition of what we have just covered. That there is a Damirul Fasal where you are seeing it between Khabar and Muqtada. And when your Khabar is Jumla Failia, wa annahu wa aghna wa aqna. Right? Here again, the Damirul Fasal is seen. Again, you can see when the khabar is ism tafdeel, you may uh, see here there is a hua. And where is ism tafdeel? Can anyone um, um, find it? Okay, now in this words, what is happening? And whatever you send, uh, send forth for yourselves, of any good. Tajiduhu in the lahi wa khayran wa azam. 
Azama Ajaran. What are you seeing here? Can anyone find out something here? Very well done. There are two mafuls. What? Where is the first mafool? And which fail are we talking about? Very good job. Very good job, sir. Ham. You are very fit for the class. Welcome to the class. You will really enjoy and will enjoy your company. Alhamdulillah. I'm so glad that you joined our session today. The Jiduhu is one of the Af'al, just like Zanna, it is also one of the sisters of Zanna. If the Vajada Yajidu means to find something, literally find something, it is not going to act like Zanna wa Akhwatuha. It will not have two Mafail. Okay? Remember one thing. But when it is acting like when it is acting in another way in you you will find it you will understand it you you know it is when it is used intangibly in that case in that case you are going to find two mafail for it one in this case is who and the second one in this case is what And we can say, you will find it better. Khairan is the second one, right? Sister Zohra, uh, uh, you know, first one is Khairan and then Azama is the uh, on top of it, Matuf, right? So Hua is coming in between, right? So this is another place where you are seeing. And the first one uh, was also, you know, uh, here, Hua Khairan is also there but here it is replacing something so you, you cannot you are not finding it between the two mafail but here you are seeing it between the two mafail which the first one was who the second one is qairan and who is coming in between and there is a is some deal that is following it okay so now you are going to find out why do we use it why do we have to use it if sometimes you don't label it as muqtada if it is not you know it why, why why are we using it right that is the entire purpose of us learning the mural fasil and that's very important purpose right so the purpose of it is to clarify khabar as khabar my dear sisters not to confuse it as one of the followers so if you were to have no hua here zalika zalika dalal al baid what will happen can you label it as isam ishara wa musharu nilahi? Is, is that a possibility? That you will think of it as isam ishara wa musharu nilahi? Yes, but for some of you, it may be a possibility. So suffice is saying no, but for some, it may be a possibility that they say that, you know, that, that far misguidance, right? They may translate it as a fragment, right? But when the mirul fasal is there, what is it telling you? Don't translate it as a fragment. It is not a fragment. There is... Zalika is Muptada. Zalika is not making is a Mishara Musharun lay fragment with Ad Dalal al Baid. Okay? Ad Dalal is not a badal for Zalika. Okay? It is it is the khabar for Zalika. Hmm? It is clarifying the khabar when it is coming up as Marifa Isam. Because remember, in, in case of Isam Mishara Musharun Lai, all four properties match. And they it may not be always there. This the mirul fasil may all may not be always there, but when it is there, the purpose is to clarify the khabar and not to confuse the khabar as tabe. Tabe means the follower, which can be the sifa. Some may say that you know they are matching in all four properties, so they are more super sifa. They, some may say that they are badal for uh, dalal is a badal for zalika because it is the same as zalika. It is matching it in all four properties, and you know it's it's kind of similar to it. So just to clarify that there is no fragment business going on. There's a jumla here, and a dalal is a khabar. There is a damirul fasar that is put between muptada and khabar. Everyone with me. For the same way, if you look back, ulaika, when you see this one, ulaika al muflihun, ulaika al muflihun, though it, nobody is going to say that this is going to be isamishara um, musharun ilahi, I hope nobody says that, but there can be a confusion because they are matching in all four properties, yes or no. Ulaika, masculine, ulaika, plural, ulaika, proper, al muflihun, all four properties are matching. And, and one may get confused, but when you have home in between, you clearly know 
that Ulaida is Muftada and Al Muflisun is the Khabar. Right, my dear sisters? So the, that is the very first purpose of the Mirul Fasal. That is a very, if somebody asks you why the Mirul Fasal is there, it is to clarify the Khabar and not to make us confused about the Khabar. The second purpose that you all already know, it bring, brings Al Qasar Wal Hasar. It brings in emphasis, right? Innahu huwa adhaka. Indeed, he, he, he makes you laugh and he makes you cry. Wa innahu huwa amata wa ahya. And he, and indeed he, he gives you life and he, uh, he gives you death and he gives you life. So when I am saying he, and or if I put in translation, only he makes us laugh or only he makes us cry where is this only coming from where is this hasar and kasar business coming from it is by the use of hua which is the mirul fasal right there is the mirul fasal that is making you know that distinction that you know yes you can use you know uh, you, you can use um uh, you know the, the terms only and all that okay then you know the inna hu when you look at inna hu what the wabur rahim Indeed, he, he is the ever accepting of repentance and the ever merciful. How is this translation? You know, the thing is, at the wab, the only one who is who accepts repentance, the at the wab, you know, there is no other the wab, right? And then indeed he, you already have, you already have emphasis, but who are, but who are brought even more emphasis. It emphasized it even more so now you know it is double emphasis makes sense or no sense that not only it clarified everything for you but it brought double emphasis right so remember that if you just know the two things that it's going to clarify your khabar it's going to bring in emphasis and um exclusivity like you know only only, only. So th that will, inshallah, make a lot of sense. Okay, now we have six minutes. And um, let me show you. Suratul Anfal. Wa is kalu Allahumma inkana haza huwa al haq. What is this huwa? It is fasal. Why are you calling it fasal? What made you think it is the Mirul Fasal? And you are all right. But just give me the reason. What was the condition? What is the Muade? It is, is it one of the places where you see the Mirul Fasal? Are you seeing it between Ismu Kana and Khabru Kana? Yes or no? Where is Ismu Kana? What is Ismu Kana here? In Kana, Kana Haza. Yes, so there is a condition too because of pain. Very well done. Yes, but there is ismu. What is ismu kana? Ismu kana is hada. Al haqqa is khabru kana. In this situation, again, what is the status of hua? Is it raf nasburjar or la mahalla laha min al arab? It is la mahalla laha min al arab. La mahalla lahu min al arab because it is. Just there, there for emphasis, it cannot be labeled as muqtada. Or can you label it as muqtada? Can you label it as muqtada? My dear sister, no, it cannot. You cannot label it as muqtada. Okay. Now, the third thing is, there is another pronoun that I want you to...